During World War II, American and Chinese aviators volunteered to fight side by side in the war of resistance against Japanese aggression. The group fought under the command of an American general and achieved remarkable success against the Japanese. The group became a household name known as the Flying Tigers. CCTV's Wu Gaoshu talked to one of its members. Distinctive shark face planes and household reputations, the Flying Tigers, officially known as the American Volunteer Group of the Chinese Air Force, were a group of ex-pilots from the U.S. military. The squadron trained by Claire Chenard was key in helping China drive out Japanese invaders starting in 1941. In 1943, Chinese aviators were trained and assigned to fight with them in the Chinese-American composite wing. 95-year-old Li Zhenrui was one of them. He told us about bombing the Japanese military base in Bangkok. Bangkok was the base of the Japanese army, so we flew to bomb them every day. Once we bombed the train carrying armaments, all bombs, machine guns, pistols and bullets exploded. Because of conditions at the time, he wasn't able to keep any wartime mementos or even of his medals. This magazine clip is his only and most valuable treasure because it shows the kind of uh, B-25 bomber that he used to sit in while fighting Japanese enemies together with his Chinese and American comrades. Li told us what a regular morning order by American commanders was like. Everybody, uh, everybody flying man, flying man, uh, nine o'clock. Uh, come on down here! Our reason! Our reason! It was dangerous work. Once our plane was shot, leaving a hole, an American member died. My foot was shot. American doctors operated on me, but there's still half a bullet in my bone that couldn't be removed. While the modern world outside is gradually becoming vague in his eyes, the world in flames remains clear in his memory. Wu Guoxiu, CCTV, Henan Province.